I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad map sensor. The whole purpose of the map sensor is to provide manifold pressure to the ECM. The ECM then uses this information to produce the perfect air slash fuel ratio for combustion. In order to burn 1 kilogram of gasoline, you need 14.7 kilograms of air. With that being said, if the ECM reads more air coming in, it's going to provide more fuel. If it reads less air coming in, it's going to provide less fuel. The location of the map sensor is going to be on the intake manifold typically right after the throttle. The average life expectancy of a MAP sensor is typically from 125 to 150,000 miles. The first symptom you might be experiencing is an engine light. Some codes related to MAP sensor issues is from P0105 up to P0109. The OBD2 scanner that I use to help me retrieve the codes is linked in the description. Now even if you don't have an engine light on, your map sensor can still be faulty. So let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom could be an engine stall. You turn on your car, you're listening to some music, and then a minute later, it just turns off. Now if the map sensor produces a false reading to the ECM, let's say the map sensor tells the ECM it reads less air coming in. So the ECM is going to say, all right, well let me produce less fuel. But a real good working map sensor should be reading more air coming in, so there should be more fuel being added. Which leads to more air than fuel ratio, which then leads to no combustion, which is why the engine stalls. The third symptom you'll be experiencing is a misfire. The same reason would apply here. More air than fuel ratio, which is why there's no combustion, which creates an engine misfire. The fourth symptom you'll be experiencing is reduced engine power. You're driving down the road, you're accelerating, you're trying to race, but the power isn't there. You're asking yourself, why? This all comes back to the fuel not being burnt efficiently. In order for the engine to run smooth as possible, that air slash fuel ratio has to be the best that it can. The fifth symptom could be a no start. If the reading's bad and there's more air coming in and less fuel, it's gonna choke that out, causing no combustion, which creates that no start. The sixth symptom could be a rough idle. Let's say that air slash fuel ratio is not too bad to the point where it's gonna create a no start, but it's still bad enough to create a rough idle and a couple misfires here and there. The seventh symptom could be bad fuel economy. Let's say the map sensor provides a bad reading of more air, so the ECM's then going to want to provide more fuel. But the real reading should have been less air, so the ECM should have been providing less fuel. The final result came out to be less air and more fuel, leaving unburnt fuel in that cylinder, which is why you have to go to the gas station more often. This prepares us to our last symptom, black smoke. Since there's unburnt fuel in that cylinder, it then gets kicked out to the exhaust, which creates black smoke. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.